This is the real story of Michael Edwards, a man whose public appearances are as rare as his transfer market mistakes. Edwards, unbeknown to most, played as a right back to a decent standard in the professional game, reaching reserve level for League One side Peterborough United. A bit of a teacher's pet was how one former teammate described Edwards in a recent interview with Bleacher Report. After he was released by Peterborough, Edwards moved into teaching, covering IT at a local high school. But his absence from football did not last long. In 2003, he moved back into the game, joining Portsmouth as an analyst, looking at the tactics of future opponents and assessing potential transfer targets. He was brought into the club by Prozone, a company which would go on to have huge influence on English football over the next decade or so. Football generally has been reticent to accept technological advancements, and this was no different. Football, though, is a science, and the University of Sheffield graduate knew it, helping to harness the usefulness of data to excellent effect. Edwards' time with Portsmouth was essentially where he learned his trade, working with players with Liverpool connections like David James and Peter Crouch. Crucially, this was not a stats geek walking into a footballer's dressing room and telling them how badly they'd played the previous weekend. As a former player himself, Edwards was familiar with the humour and camaraderie that comes with being part of an elite sports team, and he was well respected as a result. The South Coast side finished 8th and 9th in the Premier League and won the FA Cup in 2008. And while Edwards' name was not at the forefront of those successes, it should have been, and the players knew it. He followed Harry Redknapp to Tottenham in 2008, where, after being at Portsmouth during their spike in success, he was crucial to the White Hart Lane side's first top four finish in two decades. Coincidence? It seems unlikely. When Edwards moved to Anfield in 2011, Tottenham owner Daniel Levy was furious that someone he valued so highly was departing. But Edwards had been headhunted by Damien Camoli to lead Liverpool's new Moneyball approach under FSG, alongside Director of Research Ian Graham. Edwards first became the Reds' head of performance and analysis from November 2011 to May 2013. He was then Director of Technical Performance from June 2013 to July 2015, and Technical Director from then until November 2016, when he became Sporting Director, the role he fulfills now. Brendan Rodgers was known to despise the idea of a transfer committee, but Edwards encompasses that concept, which has since thrived under Klopp. To be fair, Edwards struggled initially. Christian Benteke, Iago Aspas and Luis Alberto were just some of the names that signed while Edwards was at Liverpool who flopped. But look at the latter two's careers since leaving Anfield, and perhaps he was onto something after all. A numbers man who knows football inside out, Edwards is bold and decisive. When Mohamed Salah was signed by Liverpool, Klopp was not convinced. When Edwards insisted though that he was the right fit, Klopp was comfortable with trusting his judgement, passing on Julian Brandt to get his man. How right both Klopp and Edwards were, and how differently things could have panned out had they come to a different conclusion. And it's not just signings either. Getting the most out of sales too has been one of his huge successes, with the likes of Dominic Solanke and Mamadou Sakho among those who've been sold for somewhat inflated fees, possibly with one or two others to follow in the form of Harry Wilson and Marco Gruic at the end of this season. Sitting in his Melwood office opposite Klopp's, the 40-year-old Edwards is one of the most influential figures at Anfield. He's responsible for signing the likes of Salah, Mane and Roberto Firmino when others would not have touched them, and indeed didn't. Edwards might not have a statue outside Anfield as other Liverpool legends have, but he quite possibly should do.